German women against uh, Firenze, the women of Italy, and uh, the game will start uh, at uh, four o'clock. Uh, put away my cell phone so I don't uh, interfere with. Uh, huh? But now it's gone. Ah, got it back. Uh, so I don't interfere with the live stream. Um, referees are not down yet, so. Uh, Let's see how this game is going on. My, uh, uh, from my experience with, uh, and I know the, the players from Langen, I think uh, this one will belong, definitely will belong to uh, the German team. Uh, hello world. It's always fascinating if you see yourself in the camera. And this is Lorena, if you don't know her yet. We are online. And actually we have uh, Antje Franke with us. Just have a look in the camera, Antje. Uh, she's uh, head of competitive sports here in uh, Germany, VDST, and she's here uh, watching with us the live stream. And it's quite nice to have her with us. Um, and uh, she's quite impressed. We've been in the pool together playing on the water rugby, and uh, yeah, she knows what it's all about. Thank you very much, Anita, to be here and watching our game. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we have to arrange everything and uh, get in the speed for competition yeah. and uh, I'm a little bit slow still, sorry. Yeah. You, you will get, I will bring you up to speed Lorena, be sure <laughs> of it. <laughs> so next game, oh the girls, the German team against uh, Fidense. This might be interesting. Yeah, what, what, what is your guess? I think uh, uh, Langen I have to say that I believe Langen is going to win. Should we do a bet? Not about money. No, I don't no, 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 no. About a kiss? <laughs> 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 I have to think about it. <laughs> so, yeah, Langen, uh, what do we know about Langen? Um, they have uh, four players of the national team, of the German national team with them. Uh, players like... Langen uh, used to be the former Mannheim. They won yeah. twice the Champions Cup and I believe it was 2011-2012 uh, and then they changed the club and became uh, Langen and also some former players of uh, Munich joined them so they're a little bit yeah it's, it's stronger you have uh, yeah a little bit more experience well, they players have, they have since many they experienced were players yes. uh, in there, and so uh, like uh, Kati Velo, which is one of uh, uh, the strongest player, I think. Uh, many years the captain of the German national team. And yeah, and you played with her um, in uh, Berlin in the Berlin team. Yeah, uh, many years. Kati was with yeah. in our team, like I believe, really like 15 years in the yeah. Berlin. Yeah, and to have was uh, our captain as well. So. Kati in the team is is quite an asset. Uh, uh, she's because she very clever, yeah. very bright. She has a way of uh, knowing the game and not, not feeling it. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. So, so my guess is uh, this uh, game will belong to Langen, but uh, we don't know the, all the players of Firenze right now, and um, that's why probably uh, um, they can give a good fight. But uh, my guess would be it's uh, it definitely will be the game of Langen, of the German team. So let's see what we're up to. Um, we still have to find uh, all our papers we printed. Um, sadly, we are not online here. and I don't have an uh, internet connection, so I cannot see what's going on in the live chat. That's a pity because uh, uh, the... I can try to get my phone, but I don't know if it's going to get some interference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same problem here. Um, so I try to get online, go online. Yeah, I, it's going to get better. Lorena, it's good to have you here. Really? I felt alone. So, uh, so perfect. we just started and what happened? So we had the uh, start of the game, uh, but it was... Uh, uh, I felt sta start apparently because the ball still in the middle, so apparently we something was wrong. So Probably some hit. of the players started too early. No, there seems to be something wrong with the ball. Uh, we have also, huh? 
already a free throw against. Uh, okay, yeah, we we we, we couldn't Kerenze. see the, the beginning, so we can say what was the mistake. But yeah, it's a free throw against Firenze. Um, we don't know what happened. Probably one of the players started too early. Normally, you would uh, redo it then. But uh, already Langen is under the basket of Firenze. Really One player, player, second player waiting there, going in over the top of the goalkeeper. And the third player already coming in from the close side of the basket on the wall through wave after wave now have we have three uh, blues four blues against yeah, one white that's, i mean that's really yeah it's a question of time now we have a, a langen player lying on the basket of Firenze. Firenze is not uh, Firenze really is struggling well here positioned. yeah they are struggling but so far they just uh, it's just recovered but still it's w the, the goalkeeper has been alone the whole time and um the german team could position it well here we go yeah, first I was, I was clear one defender from the beginning of the game and you always had two or three yeah, attackers. Yeah. It was like an avalanche uh, going <laughs> on the basket of uh, Firenze and they their defense was destroyed from from the bottom to the top and uh, there were Langen players um, all over in the defense. There was uh, almost no defense. Yeah. So uh, Langen has the ball. Uh, no, no Firenze. Firenze has the ball and is attacking, trying to get through. Um, but already uh, Langen recovered the ball and is coming in uh, from the middle on the on the bottom of the pool. And already we have a Langen player, a German player, um, in the defense of Firenze. And you see that the deconstruction work is, is starting again like they did in the tag before. There are almost as many or more German players in the Italian defense than there are uh, Italian yeah. The, players. The, the attackers of the Italian teams are doing quite a poor job. They're not really stopping all the attacks from the top. The defenders are getting, getting the position late. So, I I don't know, my guess... Uh, well, well that that a little bit you don't have to before. guess at this point. <laughs> no, 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 but I mean, probably still a few more goals are going to take break if they don't reposition and can kind of... Uh, what we, what, we, what we know of, uh, of the, the German game is they, they are really protect the ball, they're really holding the ball. We almost, this is the first time we see a Firenze player uh, stealing the away the ball from a, uh, a German player. And uh, now no. Fefe, I think this is Fefe, yeah. um, going with the ball with the counter attack, losing one fin. Yeah. And um, now uh, Firenze is trying to structure their attack. One, only one player down with the ball, and no station. Now they we have a, another player, but they are. They don't have a synchronity. While the German team, you have the the. Uh, and the they stay on the surface. Ten people on the water. It's yeah. always blue all over, and just one white. And uh, they 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 seem exhausted right now already. Um, with with Langen staying on the on the bottom and Firenze a little bit more. Uh, at the surface, and uh, now we have an attack from the close side on the basket in the defense, but it got stuck uh, and stopped well, by Langen. Look, the German team has normally at least two and three to four players all the time, and at this point we cannot talk about being tired. I think it has it's a, it's a no, mixture it's of maybe being very it's excited. A start. Yeah, yeah, it, that's that's what I mean. Uh, it's, sorry, it was the wrong word. It's not tiredness, but it's like a by a strong opponent. Now we have a cluster um, on the close pool sides, not directly in the corner, but no, in the half of uh, Langen. The, the Italians tend to do this yeah, since the I beginning. That so they, they have been playing since how long? Already 10, 12 years. And they tend to do these clusters on the surface a lot, which but really breaks the flow of the game. But we, we see here um, wha how it should be only two players fighting over the ball. Now we have three players. But normally you don't put too much effort in the cluster because uh, um, it's just you you spend your energy it's just like you lose yeah, you drain your energy now no Langen point. is in ball possession uh, counter, counter attack with three um, but stopped by one player yeah uh, that was quite was good quite good work uh, from uh, defender Fefe who just stopped the whole bunch of uh, German players right in the middle but now we go again 
the long input our experience in uh, we had in the last years and the feedback and the feedback was uh, we cannot have access to the chat so the moment uh, we have that probably we can start getting your feedback and respond accordingly if there's any questions or anything you want to know comment we have almost 15 seconds left of the break and then we have the second time of Jutze Langen against Firenze. As you can see in our back, we already have uh, the little flags of uh, uh, Australian UNSW yeah, uh, underwater rugby. And from the, the Colombian Orcas, they brought them up to us. Let's see how many we can collect uh, in the next uh, two days. I'm quite curious and super happy. So, Second half started and hopefully we will have uh, another picture. No, Langen made it, but the ball went a little bit to the back and was not recovered really um, in a very optimal way. So they're still fighting on their half, which is a pity because they got the ball. But sometimes, you know, you need to, when you start uh, and go for the ball, you need to make clear who is going to be on your back, on the right, on the left. So if the one that uh, get to the ball and pass to the back, there's someone there to receive the ball and not, you know, being a little bit of the, of the, uh, What are you pool. trying to tell us? I don't know, I'm still ah. not fully here. So that was a little, a little bit of a mistake because if you achieve to get the ball and then swim through, then the chances to, ha to score a goal are a bit higher than you have to fight for the ball in the middle, like what happened. Huh? Yeah. So now we have fight, a uh, cluster of people again. Uh, something was loud. Oh. Had a little technical issue, yeah. maybe a feedback uh, from the microphone. Have two blues, almost four, two more coming, three whites, and it still make it, you know, the defender have problems, I mean, from it, Firenze, to cover they, the, they the one with the ball. The, the, the the German girls really cause havoc on, on uh, around the defense yeah. of uh, the Firenze basket, and there you have you have such a tight uh, all around a tight player Two bodies all end. around the basket, and now we have even more Langen players around the Firenze basket, blue. and uh, and I even think uh, Langen is not playing full force here. They are looking for uh, holes in the in the defense. But well, now we have one of the Lang players that just yeah. Yeah, got in the they, they don't go in with full force. They wait for a chance to, to score in, a, in a, uh, a little open side where the goalkeeper didn't see what's happening. So it's 5-0 uh, for Langen here in the second game of Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. And um, it's Firenze in white against Langen in blue. And it does not look like uh, um, does not look like uh, Firenze has a chance here to to, to score or even no. to hold uh, uh, Langen at bay. Well, let's see. Firenze will play then against Finland and the U.S. It's timeout for. At uh, least they should use this game to. To warm up. <laughs> well, to to find their positions because um, they are having trouble with that. I understand that because of the Germans are attacking in such a consistent way and such a disciplined way. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's like a, uh, they, they like have a machine. So like, it's difficult. Like we already said, they have four national team players uh, it's, it's in difficult in to, their roles. To get in position and to know what you're doing when you have such a pressure. I, I know. I know exactly what I'm talking about, but they should try to at least focus, and they were not going to win, but at least to see if they can find their positions and... and Timeout is over, and we are back the in the, the game. The games they, come, they have to have... And uh, Firenze is now trying to concentrate, but uh, yeah, if you make mistakes uh, like this, you, 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 you lose the ball, uh, not even under pressure. What do you have? The attackers underneath with the ball is pretty much it. 
So four minutes to go, 6-0 for the German team. We have another counter. It's two against two, and now it's three blue and... At the basket of Firenze. At the basket of Firenze, yes. Firenze is white. Always tell the people blue where we are. <laughs> now then the surface fighting with the ball. Is yes, that right? thank you. That was quite good. Okay. I think it's quite important always to give a, a, a rough overview where the ball is compared to the goals. And now we're back uh, at the basket at of Firenze and uh, uh, Langen is uh, building his uh, attack pattern. Uh, they even, there are so many Langen players, they, they uh, are in the way they of each passing, other almost. Yes. And uh, they pass back and forth around the Firenze goal. Um, no defender, defender coming down too late um, and the ball is uh, now on the close side pass back in the middle back and forth and there sometimes really there are there are too many Langen players down around the basket they don't know where to give the ball to and they are not really disturbed by the four checking attackers no, uh, of Fidenzi uh, it looks even no, like uh, Fidenzi is happy to have a goalie and a defender down yeah but also I mean now it's one on one and she went up a little bit. Here we go. The there is one. on the open side. There is uh, one line of player defenders. Uh, at the basket. But I have to say, right now the uh, attack from Langen is also a little bit chaotic. Yep, they have true. been one on top of each other instead of one next to each other. So they almost. But, but you know that feeling. What we see right now, they, they are that just. Should have been a goal. That should yeah, have been definitely a goal. should have been a goal. But uh, do, do you know the feeling if your uh, uh, the other team is so. Uh, um, it seems to be so easy to, to yeah, overrun. Yeah, you lose control. You lose yeah. control of your attacks because your concentration is gone. Everybody wants to score, and I go in, I go in, you go in, and yeah, everybody tries that's to. True. And we, yeah, that's what we see here probably. Oh, that was a little bit around the neck. Uh, still keeping the ball and trying to come in waves. It's one of the attackers underneath the defender, but the ball didn't reach that player. Now is the next one attacking to the goalkeeper. This alone, two coming at the bottom. The defender is trying to get put into position. Oh yeah, well at least they push the players, the German players uh, away and it's still the next one. There we go. Uh, it was like the fourth wave, but it was yeah. almost uninterrupted. That, that, that was a little bit better than the one before because they were coming, kept coming until the Italians didn't know anymore where they were and didn't have any more air. Because the thing is, if you keep that kind of pressure, uh, going up and down is so stressful. What kind of surprises me a little bit with these attacks from Langen right now, it takes them quite long um, to score. They have a lot of chances and they, they, they're they not that focused. They're just like, it's like a uh, feeding look, frenzy. It's, it's yeah, yeah, it's sure. They do a good game, no, so no question there. They, they're totally uh, uh, in control of the game and they go in and, and do almost as what they want. Next goal. See that? There was a score. Uh, there was a score uh, just they threw in the, the ball by uh, tearing away uh, the goalkeeper and throwing the ball up from, from, uh, from one meter distance from the basket down there. So um, you, see, you see them breaking up. You see they, they're Firenze. Uh, are losing the, the the grip on the game and uh, it's it's quite uh, difficult if you are uh, in the second half of a game where you get uh, uh, punched like that in your own defense to keep up your game and to stay concentrated it's really difficult yeah. um, and to turn it around probably even and here for Firenze, I wouldn't have a, a received to what they should do right now. Just defending more, uh, but but like this, like clustering like that and going up to the surface, um, they they will lose more and more energy. And uh, Langen has enough air yeah, to counter attack. Yeah. And now and they're swimming behind them. The Italians are all a little bit behind, so. So this is the, the end of the uh, second game here, Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. Next to me is Lorena, uh, writing down uh, the, the numbers. All the scores, I want to yeah, be on all the scores, <laughs> because I will forget them at once. Um, happy to have you with us. Um, again, for those who just uh, came into the game, what is in the next game? The next game is uh, Orgas, again, the Finnen. Finnen. 
yeah. Friusuk. Friusuk, we have. We will, we will definitely <laughs> spell it wrong. I'm absolutely sure we spell it wrong. And uh, at the uh, well, winners' is, party, we will talk to the that Finnish. Friusuk yeah. is here. Well, uh, um, Samuel, uh, the coach from the Arkas, was talking to me uh, um, uh, two hours ago, and he asked me, "Do you know anything about the Finnish?" And I said, "Well, I have no idea. Um, never heard of this uh, team. Don't know the players." We had once one player with us, uh, Henry Tin. Uh, he played with us here in uh, Berlin for some weeks and uh, he gave us a little bit of insight in the uh, Finnish underwater rugby, but uh, don't know these players. But, um, well, they could be some kind of surprise and I don't think they're uh, as easy to manage um, for the Orcas as Firenze has been uh, for... Uh, um, I have access to the chat now. Oh, Lorena has access to the chat. That's quite a feat. Um, so what the people are telling us? What's wrong with the sound? What are you guys betting anyway? Hey, Jörg is on the chat. Already. Jörg, I Already. miss you. I miss you so much. Where are you? I hope you will be with us soon. And I, I don't think at all. that That's the beauty of it. I don't think at all anymore. I just speak. You should try. It's, it's quite, it's, it's uh, freeing the soul, if you know what I mean. Your coach is online. No, Jörg, as, as, I know it's hard for you to accept, but you're not my coach. Okay, don't start fighting already, <laughs> please. Let's have